what's up you guys welcome back to bitch the first weekly vlog of 2022 so before we continue with today's video i want to thank our sponsor today which is dossier dossier is my favorite fragrance company they are amazing because all of their fragrances start at 29 dollars and they are all inspired by cult designer favorites so you can get some of your favorite scents for a fraction of the price unboxing haul this is how it comes super bouge and they always come with this little card that says what scent it's inspired by as well as all the different notes this is their green verbena and it's inspired by creed's green irish tweed what's also really cool about dossier is they have a money back guarantee policy so sometimes the fragrance will come with a mini tester which is so great because you can keep it in your purse on the go and you can either try the tester or if it doesn't come with the tester you can just try the actual perfume for 30 days and if you don't like it after the 30 days you can return it for a full refund if it comes with a sample you can keep the sample and just return the full bottle which i think is amazing this is definitely one of my favorite scents recently because this scent is so unique and it kind of smells like a man and it's just really good like y'all know i really like woody scents and kind of like more unisex like honestly more masculine scents if i'm being honest so definitely a favorite i always get compliments whenever i wear one of their perfumes and it's just so cool because you can literally type any designer fragrance into their search bar and the dupe is gonna show up they also recently have candles i have tried two of them this is the third one i've tried it's the aromatic star anise and it's inspired by dior sauvage y'all so if you want your home to smell like a man <laughs> I don't know if that's the type of man you you know would want, but you can have the good scent without the uh, experience. It generally smells so good though. I was burning it all day yesterday, and it's just so fragrant and like genuinely just. Mm. I love Dossier. I cannot say enough good things about them. I have a 10% off discount code for you guys, so I will link them down below, but you guys should definitely check them out. Great deals, amazing scents. The scents really last. They have the money back guarantee policy. They have candles now. Like, they're really just amazing. So before you go buy a refill that's like $100 of, or more of one of your favorite fragrances, see if the dupe is on Dossier. But thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring, and let's continue on with the video. My current issue is I don't know where my mini tripod went because I did a huge deep clean before leaving for back home for Christmas and I just don't know where anything is. Oh, it was right in front of my face. I kind of feel like today is Monday even though yesterday was Monday. Yesterday I flew back to LA. I had a really early flight and then I got back to my apartment at like 11 a.m. So in my mind I was like, oh, I have like the whole day to do stuff, bitch. I took a nap. And then I went to Starbucks. I guess I got some stuff done, like unpacking and whatnot, but I just, I don't know. I feel like I just have really had to like rest. I did a gym, my first gym in so long. No, I just, I need to get back to my routine and then I feel like it's gonna be the new year, new me vibes. But luckily I planned a lot in December before I went back home, but it's just always like a lot to have your routine disrupted. But can I just say, I had like the best time back home. Like I finally feel like I was able to truly just relax and like take time to just like, chill be with my family and i just i feel a lot better now i also picked up some new hobbies when i was back home i knit a little towel and this is my second one i already finished one learned how to play spades how to play backgammon or like relearned i guess because i used to know how to play i just haven't in a while but yeah but i wanted to give you guys a mini amazon haul also just so you guys know i'm in the market for a new camera a new vlog camera this is the canon g7x i've had it forever i want a camera that's a little more wide angle not crazy fisheye but just like a little wider i don't know i just feel like when i hold my camera like this it's just i have to hold it so far away from my face so i have one in mind um but i just i also want to get a new phone i'm just gonna wait for all that till after mercury retrograde so next month anyway i got this castor rosemary hair nourishment oil i'm gonna start using this probably like once a week and then i also got i got this little like shampoo brush and i did this yesterday um i mostly just want this first of all my scalp has been dry i think just because it's been winter and cold but also i want this for hair growth I really want to focus on like hair just like the quality of my hair this year you know I uh, again after Venus retrograde the plan as of now is to go back to my natural hair color and I just really want to grow it out like I've been bleaching my hair since early high school and I've just never given it a break and I don't think it's like the most damaged or anything like I take pretty good care of my hair but 
I'm ready for the change and I also just want my hair to be healthier. So anyway, hopefully this will help and this felt really good. I used it for this and then also when I washed my hair, used it with the shampoo. So I'll let you guys know, but I have heard that, I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know that castor oil helps hair growth. Most people know for like their brows and lashes, but I've also heard that rosemary oil is really good for hair growth. So I'm not dealing with any hair loss or anything, but there's that. Also, I got some rose, rose hip seed oil and it's not here yet. I think it's gonna be here like tomorrow, but I got a new gua sha that's stainless steel because all the past gua sha's I've had have been stone and they've all broke because I dropped them in the shower or I dropped them, like I have hard, like I don't know, stone countertops. They break immediately. So I got a stainless steel one and those are also supposed to be just cleaner because it doesn't, it's not porous, you know? Let me know if you guys have heard of frownies, but it's kind of like the original Botox. They've been around for like years apparently, but I got ones that are specifically for here because this is actually an area I'm really just like insecure about and I don't feel like the lines are super formed or anything, but I don't know. I just feel like this part of my face is just like, it just always bothers me. I mean, it's not even like they're set lines. Or like, I don't know what it is, but just at certain angles and certain lighting, it's just like, ew. And that's also why I want to, like even right now, I don't like the camera angle, but that's also why I, I want to start like just vlogging at better angles because then I look at myself looking bad and it's not actually how I look. Anyway, but yeah, so these go here and then there's some that go here. I have gotten preventative Botox. Okay, people, there's the girls on TikTok that are like, yay, we love preventative Botox. And then there's some that are like, that's dumb because you're just preventing, like as soon as you stop doing it, the wrinkles are gonna come back. But like, oh, if you're in your 20s, you shouldn't be getting Botox. But like, if you make the same expression over and over, a line will form. And then once the line has formed, it's harder to undo that. Versus if you do things like use retinol, get a little bit of Botox, it's gonna prevent it from even forming in the first place. So yeah, like I haven't gotten it since May or June, I think June. But that was my plan to just get it like, you know, twice a year and then maybe when I'm older, get more if I feel like I want to or need to or whatever. But it's definitely like, you know, worn off i just got a little bit like here a little bit my forehead and like a little bit but i really i'm getting more on friday because it's just like time um but i really really liked how it made my face look like i don't feel like it changed it too much like it's not like filler i'm scared of filler okay and i feel like filler is something that's gonna like age you right like it'll make you look good now but then like I've seen just like all these not even horror stories just like realistic stories of like filler moving in people's face like that's something I'm scared of. Like sometimes I'm kind of curious, but I'm just like, I don't even want to get started with that. And I'd rather do things that are going to like help me long term. Like in my opinion, a little bit of life out You can disagree. But it's just like, it takes two seconds. Anyway, I just feel like it made my face look so much more snatched. And it's true because it does kind of like lightly lift this area, you know? Um, and I definitely t can tell a difference, mostly just like, when I watch videos of myself. Like that fresh Botox look, it's just, I just love it. So we're getting more on Friday, I'm also getting a wax Friday. It's just like, I was just talking about this in my swim haul, but it's just like that time in general for me to do everything, like get my hair done, get my nails done, and just get my feet done, I need to wax. It's time for Botox, bitch. Like, I need to do my brows. I do those myself, but I'm, I'm gonna like reshape them a lot. Um, and then also with the new year, it's like, I really wanted to start the year feeling fresh and I just feel kind of dusty and crusty, but I'm also just not really in the mood to do any of it. Like the waxing and the Botox is just so, both those are things are so quick, whatever. But like my hair, even my nails, like that just sounds so exhausting and I just don't at all care about like, Oh, making me an appointment, putting in my schedule. I have to fucking leave my house and go do something for multiple hours. Like, 
and it's like it's not even that big of a deal but i just i also think part of it is i'm about to start my period and today's my first day back in my routine so it's like obviously i don't feel like going at least for me i don't feel like going doing a bunch of stuff right away anyway i tried these <laughs> tangent i tried these last night and it kind of was it they didn't come off or anything they're really hard stickers but it definitely like felt kind of invasive on my face like it was something on my face it's not like i really noticed a difference or anything yet but i can see how doing this would definitely prevent oh because it really like stays in place so you just can't move your face so like there's forehead ones you're just not going to be able to move it while you sleep and that's like such a big time i guess or like one of the main times where we are like altering our face shape and like yeah, I also want to start training myself to sleep on my side, but it's just like kind of exhausting and hard. And I just usually really want my sleep. So to have to like be uncomfortable when I'm trying to just like get a good night of rest. But yeah, it comes in this cute little box. Not sponsored, by the way. Like I just bought these on Amazon. And then you just break apart this and there's like different stickers in there. So that's the vibe. I just wanted to try them out um, and see if they make a difference. But yeah. Anyway, what else did I get? I got some like kitchen tongs. Oh, I also got Emily Radajewski's book. And I think I'm gonna talk about it on my podcast, but it's really good so far. And I've never really been like, I don't know. I've just never really followed her. Like to me, she's always just been like a model. I'm just like, I don't really care. Like the only kind of model that I keep up with is like Bella Hadid. <laughs> like I never really followed her. I just always kind of like, okay, whatever. Um, but this book is like it's really good. I'm gonna talk about it on the podcast so you guys can check that out But yeah, so right now I was gonna record my podcast today, but I feel like I need to read more of this book To just have more to talk about So I might low-key read right now. I don't know. I just feel like there's more time in the day Like it's not dark out yet, so I should take advantage of this time, but I kind of also feel like at a, Not a dead end, but just kind of like a Hmm. I just also keep having this feeling like I have to go do something, but it's like, I don't. Not until Friday when I have some light appointments, but yeah. Good morning, guys. Next day, I decided to start wearing my waist trainer and little thing again. Um, just to see the vibes. Also, it's just low-key, like, comfortable. I just don't want to wear it too much because if you have seen my other vlogs where I talk about this, um, I feel like wearing it too much can, like, shrink my stomach and I don't want that to happen because I don't want to lose weight. So, I just don't want to wear it too much. But, like, if I'm just working in the house all day, it's actually kind of nice and I feel like it does make a diff. Y'all, I've been waking up at 4.30 the past couple days, which is... Okay, I was gonna say, oh, it's great. But I actually like, I've actually been liking it because now it's not even 8.30 and I'm already like getting ready for my day versus waking up at like seven. And especially if I go to the gym first thing, like sometimes that's good, but then it's like the whole morning is gone. Got these really cute little eyebrow scissors because I did not have any. And I was using like craft scissors for like everything, like not my eyebrows, but like cutting a lash. I'm just like, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows a little bit right now. I had the vision of me growing them out, but I just, I can't, it's just too much. I'm gonna film my podcast today because I finally feel like I have enough subjects to talk about, enough like content. My podcasts have been very significantly and consistently longer, like usually an hour, um, whereas before, like sometimes it'd be 30 minutes, which, it's like, bitch. So I'm really proud of myself and I'm just like excited. I don't know, I just feel like still kind of in that, and I mean, it's not like it turns a new year and you're automatically like a new person or or like it's automatically gonna feel different, um, but I just kind of still feel in that like, something's about to happen or change feeling you know and i mean that like makes sense but i don't know it's like can we just get to the point where it's like fun but anyway i'm gonna charge up my camera so i can record my podcast but yeah like i have been saying here and there this year i definitely want to put a lot more focus onto like my podcasts and like i don't know tiktok and whatnot than video 
changed, but I'm still gonna do videos, but like, I just really want my podcast to like improve and like things like that. So definitely make sure you're watching if you're not. I'm gonna get ready and I'll check back in with you guys. Good morning guys, new day, new me. Acne alert, love that. Making some beef broth because I wanna start drinking like a cup of it every morning. You guys know I used to deal, or maybe you relate to, but I used to deal with a lot of like just digestion issues and bloating when I was vegan, but then also I think for the next few years after not being vegan. Like I just remember 2018 specifically, that's when my acne was really bad and my digestion was like still bad, even though I wasn't eating like you know, just potatoes and bananas anymore. And I remember I used to drink bone broth and it used to help a lot. Um, and I just haven't really been doing it because my digestion is just like normal now. Like I don't deal with that bloating. It was just like after I would eat anything, I would get so bloated and just feel like stuck. Like it wasn't like constipation, but it was just like, I was just so bloated. Like, ugh, let me know if you relate, if you did that or maybe you didn't do that, but you still have dealt with that or deal with that. Um, but, yeah, so I haven't really thought to do this just because I haven't really been dealing with any of those issues anymore. A TikTok came on my For You page of this girl doing it and she was talking about how it helped her skin and her digestion and everything and I was like, oh, I should like start doing that again. Um, I am about to start my period, so my skin... And I was, you know, traveling, so I think that's why I have a few pimples um, just from wearing my mask for so long. But I thought that I would start doing it again and just see like if it makes a difference. It's really, really good. So if you're wondering, um, I just got some organic, like grass fed, etc. cetera, beef bones from Sprouts, like frozen. And I just added them to the pot with the skins of onions. So the part you normally like throw away, I added that. And you can really just add any like odds and ends of vegetables. So I just also did some carrots and celery and that's kind of all I had to use. Um, and you just let it simmer for like, I don't know, until the color is good. And then I got some new containers. I low-key thought they were gonna be bigger, but I'm just gonna put them in here. And I guess we'll see how much it ends up being, but if I have to, I'll freeze some of it. And I'm just gonna have that like first thing every morning. Because also, just with coffee, um, I do wanna start going back to acupuncture at some point because the actual like active acupuncture is so helpful. just for like stress and anxiety and all of that but that is really closely related to like an excess of heat energy in your body um and coffee caffeine is a very high heat you know substance in traditional chinese medicine and i don't know i don't have so much caffeine but i definitely love to start my day off with a coffee even if it is mostly decaf so I'm like, let me transition to this. I've also been having a lot of peppermint tea, which is very cooling. So that's just like what I need to bring my body back in balance. So I'll keep you guys updated, but let me know if you've ever tried this. It just honestly tastes really good. So I'm just gonna drink like, it was just like this much. So I'll just have a little bit every morning. Um, and yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have a little work day today. Also, I did a yoga with Adrian this morning and it helped so much. I definitely can tell I'm about to start my period. Like I'm literally, I could start any second. And I just really don't feel like energized in that way to work out. Like even yesterday, my workout was just so pitiful. But we did a yoga, did some breathing meditation. And I think I'm gonna go to my apartment's like little community lounge to do some work just to like get out of my apartment. Also, I posted my podcast earlier, so I'm gonna read some comments or like messages about that. I think it's a really good episode about like make Instagram casual again. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and that's kind of the vibe of my podcast is like, here's this topic, here's some of my thoughts, like what are your guys' thoughts? Love that. Um, so that's the update. Hey guys, so got a wax like basically first thing this morning, but y'all know first thing for me means being up for already so many hours and then going. I wore my Doc Martens, if you guys didn't know. Freaking got some dogs. Where is Miss? And I've been trying to like break them in. I already had blisters from them before, but they were kind of, you know, healed. Like it didn't hurt when I wore other shoes. And I put a band-aid on the really bad one, but it's still like it still hurts so bad so i'm gonna kind of change my outfit i should have showed you guys my outfit like 
earlier but whatever so i've been home for like a little bit and i have to leave pretty soon to go to a botox appointment that's the vibe also might go to dinner tonight with bougie i'm really excited for that because i feel like i haven't seen him in so long and i just feel like i haven't seen anyone in so long so it's gonna be exciting so i have like 15 minutes i just ate some miso soup i made and leftover salmon and rice and some like sauteed mixed greens you don't normally see me from this angle usually the camera is over here but what's up i took a couple days off from filming because i feel like not much was happening and i just was not in that good of a headspace but then i started my period so i was like oh i feel like i'm so self-aware like mentally emotionally but also physically like i can tell the day that i start pms you know even despite that pms will still just creep up on me and my emotions are like just so not like crazy but just like so off and like i just will feel so down and i'm just like well i guess this is just like my life now you think after however many years like i would get it by now and it's like like I, I get the physical stuff i'm like yeah i'm kind of more tired this week like i'll take it easy with my workouts because i know i'm about to start but the emotions bro like your mind really be tricking you anyway just a few updates since we last talked almost done with this book well kind of but the rate i'm reading it i could probably finish this like tomorrow really good a lot of tea it's been very fitting to read after my body because it has a lot of this just you know similar themes things that women go through relatable moments not moments but just relatable concepts etc so let me know if you've read but i'm going to talk about it on the podcast which is probably already out by the time this weekly vlog goes up definitely feel a lot better since starting my period though and it's so nice outside also dude okay like this is my weekly box talking about coffee talking about my beauty maintenance and then just like i don't know those are just like my two main topics i feel like literally since the beginning of time that's all i talk about i just want to say you know i've been doing my little beef bone broth for over a week now also botox update like can y'all tell my eyes look more lifted i feel like this one especially like chill it's not even at it's 100 percent yet but i'm starting to like notice it kick in you know i'm not trying to recommend it i'm not trying to like promote anti-aging or like saying that oh lines is a bad thing but i just like honestly really like how it makes my face look what was i saying oh yeah so it's been like over a week since i've been having like a cup of beef broth every morning and i just i feel like it's been giving me more natural energy like today for example this was the first today i just woke up had some and i was like do i want coffee and i was like I honestly don't want coffee like for some reason my coffee just hasn't been hitting i don't know why that is like i really don't know but i just have not been finishing it like i'll have a couple sips in the morning and that's so i just had my beef broth ate a banana and went to the gym and then i was like i know i want to edit and do some stuff today so i am gonna get a starbucks and like get some espresso um and i was just like you know doing my workout and stuff and even just walking to go get a coffee just observing how i felt and i was like wow like is this what just being relaxed feels like because i didn't feel tired but you know if you're used to having caffeine every morning and you don't like i mean maybe you feel like bad or like have a headache or something but i just felt like it's like everything's just kind of toned down <sighs> i was like oh yeah because i definitely i will do that like i won't have any caffeine if i have to do something that day where i know i'm gonna be nervous or like anxious because i know caffeine is just gonna heighten that um but this was just a normal day where i knew i was just gonna be working inside all day and like i did have my starbucks but you know i just felt so good after that like and i think the beef broth is helping because it's kind of like almost thicker like not actually literally but it's just heartier like that's why i like coffee in the morning and not always a tea because a tea is like almost more watery and just like lighter does that make sense even if it's like a strong cup of tea it's just like it just feels less thick to me i don't know um and the beef broth kind of gives me the same vibe as a coffee in the sense of like you're being thick like is that <laughs> like i know i'm not crazy but i just hope i'm like explaining it in the way that i mean it's like heartier and i honestly feel like the broth has more benefits than like a green juice in the morning at least for me i just feel like it's more fulfilling 
Like I definitely have been in my little juicing phases and I'll still do it from time to time, but I feel like this is just a lot better. Like I don't, I don't know, I just feel like it has more benefits. <laughs> so that's the vibes. I'm making some right now, which is why it's been on my mind. Um, so yeah, it's like my second time, you know, getting the bones and making my little broth. Just getting some work done. New week, new me. And yeah, let me know if you have been missing the weekly vlogs. I went to the Apple store today to get a new laptop cord. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my laptop cable was like, it's just completely shredded, like at the top. Um, it still works, but it's just like, how long can I keep that up? Um, and then I also had to get my laptop battery fixed. Something's wrong with it. And they were like, um, yeah, so if you submit it in today or you, you know, get it fixed today, it'll take three to five business days. So I was like, well, I like, work at home. So I, think I need to plan this out. Like I mostly just wanted to go get information about what was wrong with it. Or if it was like maybe two days, I would do it. But like, bitch, almost a full week. Like, I definitely need to prepare for that. Also thought right now we would do a little haul. I got a couple things at Whole Foods, literally two things. Okay, also I was wearing my docs and they hurt less as I was wearing them. So I was like, okay, maybe like they're not gonna cut my, like the backs of my foot as much. My left foot started hurting really bad, like my heel. And I got home and it was literally bleeding profusely, like bled through my sock, bled through the band-aids. There's literally blood all over my ankle. Yeah, my ankle, not my heel. But yeah, like the back of my foot. <laughs> Oh, okay, perfect. Then we got more organic peppermint tea from Whole Foods because I have this like multiple times throughout the day. This is probably the best value one, which makes sense because it is their brand. Um, but yeah, and it's organic, so it's a big car. Then I also got this Good Mood Nervous System Stabilizer little herbal supplement. I was just gonna get an ashwagandha one, but this one has St. John's Wort ashwagandha skull cap and prickly ash bark so just because it was more stuff i was like oh, let me try this then i also got my boxy charm not sponsored just gifted eye patches i've actually tried these before i don't know if they were in a past boxy charm but cute what is this i would be scared to put this on my face i feel it's like really thick like in an oily yeah i'm not putting 30 different oils on my face like i could use this as a like it's literally pure oil sorry Oh my god, a lip oil. If I'm gonna wear a lip liner, I like it to be like a brown, light brown. Then we have an eyeshadow palette. I'm not even gonna open this, but cute. That's everything. I'm about to make some lunch. I think I'm gonna make a sandwich on this ciabatta bread. Anxiety game.